Hello, stream. Can you hear me? I haven't streamed in a while. How are the sound levels, uh, UT and music-wise and also mic-wise? Yes, murder, I know. Um, can you hear me fine? How are the sound levels? Is the music, is my mic fine? Is the music too loud, too low, etc.? Everything's good. I'm gonna turn down the music a bit more, actually. Maybe like that. Just waiting on the fourth for FA, which I believe is Uzi. And then we'll start it on an ISO. Which was the pick of RE, I believe. Fucking bots. Alright, I'm back. Still waiting on the FA's fifth or fourth. The search for Uzi begins. Someone find Uzi and get him in here. By the way, second map will be condemned, which was the pick by FA.
Where is the Uzi? What is happening? See all three points if I just ah I'm hitting the roof. If I go well, I mean I can more or less see all three right here. I could just fucking keep the cam here the whole time. Watch all three points. We're not gonna do that, but I am gonna put my cam here. And we could switch to this during the game to kinda get a bird's eye view on what's going on. Assuming that the match starts, of course. It's actually a tough match to call. Very hard to call. RE has some stronger individual players, but they also have waiters, so FA has better balance, I guess, between the four players. They're all pretty good, all four. So we'll see. I think the solos are going to be difficult. Um, if Senator and Unreal are on solo points, which I think is what will happen. That's going to be where they're going to have to get most of their points. Extreme and Waiter should be losing ramp to whoever it ends up being for FA. Mendes actually uh, been playing quite good lately. I'm guessing Nance Stuko is going to be on one of the solo points. I don't know which. And... I guess probably either Mendez or Uzi on the second solo. It's a tough call. The good news is we actually have everyone in the server now. Just waiting for Uzi to click in, which he just did. So let's start it out with Unreal and see where he's what point he's going to be on here. And we are underway. Looks like he's going towards ramp at the moment. Is he actually playing ramp though? Looks like he is, so Unreal is going to be on the two-man point against, looks like, Mendez. Senator, as we watch him now, he's on the corner point against, uh, oh, it's actually his Mendez on corner, so it's Senator against Mendez in the corner position. That should be a good battle, I think, here. Both players are going to be decently strong. Later, of course, will be on the ramp. And Stuko looks to be pathway, and it would appear... Possibly extreme, I think it's his opponent on pathway. Actually, looks like Uzi. No, Nanzuk is actually on ramp. He was just over at pathway. Looks like Uzi is actually the uh, FA member that is playing pathway against extreme. So we figured out the positions. Have a quick look at what's going on here. Corner. Corner position, currently uh, Senator up 7-4 right there. And Pathway, the other solo, going to be Uzi with the 5 points and Extreme 4. So pretty even there. Ramp, 6 for FA. And, oh, 6 for, uh, for, uh, Re. So actually pretty even right now. Red up slightly, 26-21 uh, in overall down points. We watch far up. On the ramp position, get a good spawn, drop in from high, get control back there. Doing a decent job with Nanstuka so far. It's unreal. See him try to take it back, but lost instantly again by Farah. And the drop coming in from Unreal right here. Can he pick up the double? And he's trying to. <laughs> Long battle with Farah there, and Farah will eventually win that one. Is uh, checking back in with Senator. In that uh, corner battle with Mendez, Mendez only five. Make it six uh, points on corner so far. Center with 15, so the majority of the lead for Red here coming in this corner position. Senator, as we watch him, doing a pretty good job against Mendez so far right here. Moving up to control fence spot. I think he's going to drop from up here. We'll see where Mendez actually comes from. Nowhere to be seen is Mendez. Points stacking up quick here for Senator. Where is JP? There he is, finally. And let's take it briefly. He needs to pick up a kill. That's good for him there. And uh, let's see if Mendes can battle back some points here and string together a few kills. 
man. There you go. There's another kill. It's... Waiter definitely going to be the weakest player uh, in the server on Pathway. And let's see. How's their Pathway? Or not. Ramp, rather. Yeah, they only have 10 total points on Ramp right now. So that is going to be the weak area for uh, Rian. In fact, Blue has taken the lead overall. Very close match. So 49-44. As it stands right here, let's check back in with Nan Stuko. He's actually on ramp as well. Tasked with uh, defending that position with Raider. Actually gets killed by the corner position Senator right there. Taking it back right here for Senator, gets the double. And holding it down with Farah at the moment is Nan Stuko. Bringing back some points right there. Let's check in with Extreme. He is on the pathway position against. Mr. Uzi, and controlled point before he gets back right there, was tagged by Waiter. Piece of a kill on Nance Tuko at the back of the pathway there, but Uzi there picks it up once more. He's got a nice spawn for himself. And FA doing a good job of walking through pathway, getting controlled back at all times away from Extreme. Extreme not going to get as much help from his raid partners as he does have... Uh, uh, what's his name? Raider playing over there. So Frank Carr going to be a little bit lacking on his team for ramp. So he's going to have a hard time on pathway. No question. You see Senator on corner crouching behind the box. Pathway finally taken back by Blue. And it's still a 68-63 uh, for FA right now. So despite Senator being ahead quite heavily in corner. Well, actually not as well. He's up by about 11 points right now over JP. So where are they getting all their points, Blue? Probably Ramp. They have a fair amount on Ramp, and Uzi's doing a, a pretty good job on Pathway as well. He's up by about 7 points on the Pathway position right here. Deckel, Dessel, thanks for the follow. I'm surprised you weren't following me before. I don't know what to say about that, but uh, I'll take it when I... Better late than never, as they say. Thanks for the follow right there. So we're checking in with Unreal on the ramp position. And he's gonna help out Senator right there. He gets the back shot on the JP. And pumps into some walls here. The waiter gonna tag it for him right there. It does pick up the kill. They're gonna hold ramp position for the moment. Red coming back slightly. They're only down by six points now. So a bit of a back and forth right here. Very close battle. Only the lead is only three now for Team FA. The first time I've actually seen Unreal play Idom. He's doing a pretty good start frag wise here. Just, just in front of uh, Nan Stuko in the right position. Does have 14 Dom points right there. And they're actually doing a pretty good job on ramp overall. Since he does have Waiter with him, a little bit tougher, but doing a good job. And look at that, the game is tied right now. FA had a decent lead there for a little bit of uh, nearly 15 points, and it's been brought back, and game pretty much deadlocked right now as the battle ensues. You see Senator picking up corner once more, and the double on the Mendez pathway controlled by Red as well right now. So Red should start to pull into the lead again here. They do have control steady of two points right now, pathway and corner, and they also just got ramps, all three points controlled. Finally, pathway taken back by F.A., but it's Red who's starting to pull ahead here as Blue had the better early start. Did Mendez change positions? I don't believe so. Let's have a look at him. No, he's still on corner. Still battling against Senator here on corner. And he's definitely having a tough goal of it. 45 Dom points already for Senator on that corner position. 26 for JP, so... Um, this is an area where Red has uh, gotten a lot of their points on this uh, solo point here on corner. If JP can uh, even this out a little bit, it's going to help Blue a lot, that's for sure. So I believe Uzi's still winning pathway. And 25, yeah, he is not by a lot. He's up by about 6 points right now, but yeah, Uzi is winning pathway. And the ramp out of this constant mass stuff is going to kill me, but ramp... Is, well, it's pretty even actually. Very even game right here. 
Red just barely ahead by three points right now. See, Pathway and Corner Control. All three points controlled by Bree at the moment. Pathway taken back by, I believe, Mendez right there. And then he suicided, perhaps. And that corner position. Who is that going over there now? Have they switched, I wonder? Because that is not JP over there for Blue. It looks like they have switched. Who is using that skin? I think Uzi has switched over to corner by the looks of it. I think they wanted to switch it up. The Senator was... Uh, having his way with JP on that corner position. Let's have a look at, uh, yeah, it looks like for sure Uzi has switched off of Pathway, so they've made a switch uh, mid-game here. You see JP has rotated over to Pathway. He's gonna try his hand with Extreme now and see if Uzi can hold the fort a bit better here on corner. We'll see if he can. Let's check in with Uzi. Senator doing pretty well right now. And he just picked up a monster kill right there as well on a corner. And just hitting everything is Senator right now. Seems like this switch has not helped, in fact, because they're actually down by 10 now. And the game was pretty damn even before this switch, so... Perhaps Pathway not going as well anymore either. Extreme, 34 points on that Pathway now. So he's starting to rack up more points in that position. So it doesn't look like the switch uh, has gone too well as of yet, but it's still in range. They are only down by about uh, 10 points right here, so definitely plenty of time. Ten and a half minutes to come back from this. Just double here for Uzi. Don't necessarily need to beat Senator here, but just needs to kind of stop the bleeding and uh, slow down the point production here on the corner. It's going to be important. So we see Blue in control of two positions right now. Just needs to pick a pathway. They're going to try to crawl their way back. Where is Mendez? There he is spawning near the front, but killed by Extreme. See, Extreme was positioned behind those boxes. Mendez coming in from the front again. And again, can't pick it up. Waiter with a shot in the back. You see Waiter just kind of playing Pathway right at the moment. Along with Extreme, he was helping him out there. And Pathway has been controlled for some time here by, by Extreme. And it looks like Farah is going to finally take it back. But the lead is growing for the red team. Uh, I don't know much about Waiter. I played against him once in an iMix. He's not overly uh, strong in terms of frag power, but he seems to know the maps, I, I think, anyway. I think Zekel said he's a Belgian player. I'm not really sure. See him, he's got 46 frags, 19, or 17 points on ramp, and 9 on the pathway, so. He is contributing. Mendez with a holy shit. Coming out in the mid area somewhere right there. And Blue has crawled back a bit here. They're only down by 5 now after being down by about 12 there. So perhaps the switch is starting to pay off. Corner in more control now. Uzi doing a better job than Mendez, surely. And it looks like uh, the pathway side is getting out a lot more help from Farah. On that ramp position, you see Nan Stuko running through right now to pick up Pathway. So tight match here. It is Red pulling away just a bit right now. I mean, once more, up by over 10 again. Park trying to control the lower ramp area because of a killing a waiter, and is going to watch the incoming spawns across the Pathway as well as the roof drops onto ramp. See if you can get a kill. On to Unreal and Cants. Gonna be taking back control there. As the battle for Ram continues right here. Oh, nice kill, nice double right there out of Far. Gonna get control back of Ram, and down he goes. Unreal's back with the battle against Nan Stuko. And he will win that one, but two waiting there. So back and forth uh, battle right there on the right. You see uh, Senator trying to help out Ramp as well, moving over from his corner position to get some kills onto that Ram position. And Senator really taking over. 70 points now on corner. So Red really... Uh, their lead is coming through the corner spot at Senator. That is for sure. And their lead continues to grow. They're up by 13 now. <laughs> 17 viewers for the IDOM. You know what? I'll take that. That's not bad. And I will say, I've casted... As you know, a million ICTF uh, games in my day, but uh, I don't think I've ever casted a 
domination match, which is, of course, totally different. Not as much to play by play, but uh, we're just going to try to figure it out. And Well, I guess it's going okay so far. Seven minutes left to go. Is still Bree with the lead here. Of about 12 right now, 12 points. So still in range for FA, no question. And by the way, this was the map pick of Red, of RE, so. Leading on their map pick at the moment, which of course is important, so. If FA loses this, they're gonna try to bring it back on Condemned, which is the second map. Check in with Nance Duke, though. One on one against Unreal, gonna pick up the ramp right there. Killed from the back by Waiter. And does pick it up right back there. It's a kill on the extreme. Trying to get back to Pathways. Well, overhead view once more. Corner controlled by Uzi. Not anymore, though. Send her back. Pathways still controlled by FA, but just taken back there by Extreme. You see Mendez coming forward right now. They're gonna have a battle there, and Extreme is gonna win that one. Nice multi. Everyone's spawning in front of Extreme. Can he hold on to it? No. Farah gonna take Pathway back. And a good battle in corner. Uzi up to 30 points now in that corner position. 60 total. 78 there for Senator. 110 for Eggs as well. See extreme free reign right now on that pathway position. Loading up the points, gonna have a battle with JP. He does pick up the kill there, but one more. Uzi was actually there to help him out, take pathway back, but once more, red. Often in control of pathway, it seems, all map long. Show up one of them, showing it like the whole time. Do 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 do. So the combined pathway points for FA is going to be, well, let's call it 34, and Extreme has 67, and Waiter has another 10 on pathway. So, yeah, pathway and corner uh, heavily in the lead for RE, and that's why they're up by almost 20 points now. Ramp is more close. But that's not going to be enough for FA. They're losing the two solo points very heavily. And that is why RE has the lead that they do right now. Putsy, thanks for the follow. Hello from the highway. Watch Twitch and Drive. That's the way to do it. So it's kind of what I worried about going in when I was looking at the lineups. Better balance overall for FA's lineup, but... The solo point factor kind of more solo stronger players there for are you with senator and extreme and potentially unreal as well depending i suppose on the map and we do have a pause here uzi has left the game so 248 to 231 and there is a there's four minutes left so uh, they can come back. I, I don't know how they're going to do it, though. Actually, not sure what their best bet is. I think Uzi needs to stop helping out uh, on other points. Focus on corner. And... Farah and or Nance Duko needs to be... They need to be helping on a pathway way more. Waiter is playing ramp for Re. The weak spot of Re is this two-man position on ramp. So, Farah and Ansuko should have good control of the ramp, and they should be helping on a pathway a lot more than they are. And that's been the issue. It would have been fine to lose corner as they are, but the fact that um, pathway has been heavily controlled by extreme shouldn't really be happening with uh, ramp war. Uh, being won by FA, so I think their best bet is just to help out a pathway a lot more. Uzi has slowed the bleeding on corner, so I think if they could just uh, get better control of pathway and continue to win ramp, then they can crawl, uh, claw their way back, but for the time being, it's going to be tough. They're down by 20 points now. So 
the center again. He was actually down in the ramp position. Coming back to the corner now. Uzi waiting for him, and Uzi gonna pick up the kill there. Oh, but Waiter actually moved over to help get control of corner back there. So we watch Senator again with the battle against Mr. Uzi. Uzi gonna win that one. Spawn coming in right here, and the drop down. It is pick up the kill on Uzi right there. Gonna move over to Ramp perhaps to help. No, he's coming back. Uzi is there. Three minutes left, and it's looking pretty grim here for FA on the first map, I would say. A bit outgunned here on a heavier fragging map, which is isotoxic. They've brought it back a little bit, FA has. They're down by 13 now. They were down by 20 there a minute ago, so... They are coming back a little bit, but right now it's two points in control of the red team, which is not going to help their cause. Need to get ramp back. Surely, ramp is an area that they should be controlling the majority of the time, I would say. Unreal doing a nice job over there, though, on that ramp position. Two points in control of blue right now, and so corner taken back. Ramp finally taken back by blue. And... Well, they're going to need to... They got all three points right now. They need to hold this for a bit. There's only two minutes left. They got to make up some points. They got to make them up quick right here. And... Clock is ticking away here for FA on the first map, surely. They're coming in from that ramp position. And two points still in control of red right here. Finally, ramp taken back by Farah. Unreal gets it right back and controlling the center area here. See Waiter moving back to assist Pathway. And that's what I mean. Like Pathway's actually had more support from Red than on the FA side, which probably should not have been the case. It's multi here out of Unreal. Still in control of the ramp. And Far are gonna finally bring it back right there. But the lead is up to 16 with only a minute 20 left, so I don't think it's gonna happen. It looks surely like uh, Re is gonna win the first map. Isotoxin, just over a minute left to go. And about a 15 point lead, I cannot see it being possible. Especially with all three points being held right now by Red. And yeah, there's just too much back and forth, it's not gonna happen. Re is gonna win the first map. Just watching the overhead as time ticks away. 101 points on corner for Senator. Extreme did a really nice job of pathway as well. 84 points right there, 153 kills. And yeah, the lead actually ended up growing in the, in the final minute here for Re. So definitely going to be a map one victory. In 20 seconds right here, FA gonna have to try to force a tiebreaker and get a win on their map pick, which is gonna be condemned. That one should be interesting. I uh, kinda envision a similar issue there though. The solo's more on their own on condemned, so someone's gonna need to handle Senator and then do better on the other solo for them to have a chance, but that's a Relatively convincing victory here on map one for the re. This is the first map, yes. <laughs> Apparently, Uzi had a download running for 90% of the map. Yeah, Senator uh, did pretty well, I would say. 60 efficiency, 106 points on corner. And off to Kadem we go. FA's map pick. So, well, needless to say, if it's an Anstuco Fara on the two man point against Waiter and Unreal, again, they need to do a better job. That's just all there is to it. it seemed like, uh, Waiter was helping out Pathway more than, uh, either of the members of FA on that ramp side, so... We'll 
Let's see what happens if uh, Uzi can uh, keep Senator to a lower number here and JP does a better job against Extreme. Definitely could win. The map, the, the, the last map was close for... Well, a good chunk halfway through, they were still about tied, so they're definitely c capable of uh, forcing a tiebreaker here. I wonder where I should place my uh, cam. Is there any way I can see everything? Ugh. Well, okay, hold on. Maybe... <laughs> like that. We can see roof, we can see the garage point there. And Arturos! Down the way. This will be our our bird's eye view. Or is it better from here, I wonder? Yeah, maybe right here is actually better. Yeah, that's a good spot. We see all three points perfectly right here, alright. We'll come down a bit more even. All right, just waiting on Farah to click, figuring out the strats. I'm guessing it's going to be sort of the same setup. Farah and Anstuko on the roof, and Uzi uh, JP on the solos. And I'd imagine probably the same thing is set up both on both teams actually. Senator and Extreme playing on the two solo positions. Unreal and Waiter on the roof. Start out with Senator. See where he's going to be playing. Oh, is he actually playing roof? I did not expect that. Okay. Senator's actually gonna be playing roof right here. I see him actually trying to help out the lower points as well, so. And Suko is up top again. Uzi, where is he playing? Looks to be Arturo's against Unreal. Unreal on a solo position this time. He's on the dual first map. Watching Uzi, decent job controlling so far. Trying to try down Unreal before he tags. He will tag it though. And the battle ensues, and Uzi gonna pick it up again. Stay with Uzi till he dies, anyway. This map on the solo is just a total clusterfuck. These narrow hallways finally does die extreme. And. So, wait, no. Yeah, okay, so it is extreme on the garage position against uh, JP. Extreme went the wrong way that time. Founds himself on the wrong point again, and is just going to suicide. Extreme finally does find his point. Here he goes, picks up the kill on the Mendez. And control the point. He's got the boots as well, going to die immediately, though. So, where are we at? Tie game 19 all. Good start right here. Let's have a quick look at the F1, see how things are going. Garage, 10 points for Extreme, and 4 points for JP, so JP losing that one thus far to Extreme. The other solo point, Unreal, with 5, and Uzi with 9, so Uzi winning that position at the moment. The roof spot, we got 7 points for FA, and 7 points for Re. so pretty damn even all around right now. It is with a slight lead overall, and that is because of uh, Extreme's lead on Garage. 16 points he has over there right now. Let's check back in with Senator. They do have control of the roof right here. And Senator looking very strong in this match. Did die before he could take that back, so Blue gets a bit of time with roof control here at the moment. Red's still with the lead though. Just check him with uh, Mendez, see if he can. Uh, he's got to bring back the lead that Extreme has on Garage right here. That is where Red is pulling away. He's already up to near 20 Dom points. Extreme is on the Garage position. Doubled up on JP right here. Yeah, 
in he comes. Extreme was waiting for that drop down though. So Red already with a 14 point lead. It started out close, but they are bleeding hard in the garage position. Extreme just taking JP to town right now. And finally, he does pick up the kill on him. See if JP can hold this for a bit. Oh, it dies immediately. He tries to jump up and pick off someone on the roof. Not gonna work. See Senator helping control up there as well. And Extreme just being annoying, standing behind those boxes, fans, whatever you want to call them. Doing a nice job over there. Blue currently in control of the roof, but would to be taken back by Senator as he kills both of them up there. As you see, all three points in control of Re right now. Toro's taken back briefly by Uzi. How's Uzi doing down there? 22 points to Unreal 16. So Uzi is winning that solo. Not by a lot, but he is up. And again, it is that garage point that's really bleeding heavily here for the side of FA. Two points of control for FA right now. They're going to need to do this for some time. All three points briefly as the lead is already up to over 20 points early on. So not looking uh, not looking good here for FA. They might go down uh, in two maps straight to RE right here. All three points controlled by Red right now. So far, it finally takes back Rooftop, which is not going to last long as you see. What Senator controlling from the roof right here. Can he pick up the multi? Yes, he can. And he's also going to help out Garage. Basically the kill on the Mendez. And Senator doing a nice job once more. He was the carry in the first map and looks to be again right here. Doing a nice job controlling roof and also helping out the solo points where they do have that control up there. Get another multi, checking out Arturo's, which is in his team's control. Mirage in the hands of Mendez. He needs to keep doing that, that's for sure. Waiter with the double, learning it out. See Center continuously helping out his solo points. And he's been alive up here for some time. He has not died in a while. And finally, Nan Stuko gonna take him out. 102 to 69. Red is dominating. And this was actually FA's pick, by the way. They kept it closer on uh, Ree's map pick. This is been rather one-sided to start. There's still a lot of time, but tough going. So Nance Stuko switched. It looks like it. Mendez has again switched off his solo position. It happened in the first map, and he's had to switch again. And Stuko now on the garage position against Extreme. They had to switch something, that's for sure. Where is Mendez playing now, I wonder? Let's find out. He is... Okay, he went to the other solo point against Unreal. Which they were winning that point. We'll see if Mendez is any better right here. As he's a bit lost at the moment. I'm surprised they picked this map. They don't look overly comfortable on it. Unreal taking it right back, so... Not sure that this change has helped much at all. But I suppose they had to try to do something, and once more... A member of FA is left, this time it's JP. Five, and four, he's back. Three, two, Thirteen and a half minutes left to go. Let's have a look at the rooftop points. 36 for Re and... Uh, only about 19, 20, 23 total roof points for FA, so they're essentially losing all three points. I mean, FA really is not looking great on any of these points, to be honest with you, so I don't really, can't really see an avenue of a comeback here unless people just start hitting better, I guess. They've already made the one switch off a of garage, and it's Duke over there. It looks like he's doing a bit better of a job against uh, Extreme. The problem is now Arturos, which was being led, uh, is being won by Unreal now, so. Rooftop been in control for a little bit here by FA, taken back by Waiter because of the kill on Afara, and you see both of them up there now. 
And comes the one on one far out there, gets a kill on the one. Can he pick up Waiter? He does. Gets Roof back. Garage still in control of Ex Extreme's done a nice job in this match. Already up to 52 points in that garage position, so. JP is having a tough go of it in this match. But really, all members of FA are having a tough go. Seeing to be a bit outgunned. First map was close, but this is getting out of hand pretty quickly here. 40 point lead now for the red team, RE. So we're watching Senator again. They try to pick up a kill there on the Mendez. And Senator doing a nice job. Seems pretty damn comfortable on this rooftop position right here. Doing a good job of moving around. They don't really know where to look for Senator when they come up. Finally get that roof control back. Points control right now for blue. Down by 40 now because they've come back slightly anyway, but. Then Stuco just picked off the garage from the rooftop and free take back by Extreme there on garage. And all three points held right now by red. And all three for blue, you don't see that often, and it did not last long. All three red once more. He's one Senator again. And win the one-on-one -on -one against Farah, and he does. Uzi up there now. Did Uzi... Uzi didn't start up there now. Uzi's been on every point this game. They're just moving Uzi around everywhere. Uzi was actually winning a Toros against uh, Unreal to start the game, but then he had to switch to Garage as Mendez was having a tough time against Extreme, and now Uzi is on the rooftop, so he's Uzi kind of trying to save every point here, but it's... It is not gonna work. That is for sure. They are getting just killed right now. 182 to 134 is the score, and there's still just under 10 minutes left. Let's have a look at Van Stuko. Did switch to the garage position. Mendez lost again. He's gonna, they're both gonna go to go, dude. Oh my. Mendez seems very lost here. Which makes me question, why did they pick a them if all of your members are not comfortable on the map? Why would you pick the map? It's a bit of a question mark there. Unless I, maybe I read it wrong. Maybe FA picked Isotoxin. That would be logical. I'm actually gonna double check, because I find it hard to believe they actually picked a them. Let me double check. No, it actually was F.A. who picked them, so... Yeah, a bit of a questionable pick there, I must say. Mansuko is on the garage point, Murder. He started out on a rooftop, I believe. But Mendez switched. Mansuko moved over to garage after Uzi moved over to garage. And we had three people in garage for the side of FA in this match, and none of them have fared too well, to be honest. Uzi controlling top pretty nicely for the moment. They try to help out in the garage there. Extreme, 77 points now right there. And Unreal, 72 on Toro. So the two solo points again, just cleaning house. All three points cleaning house here for Ari. This is not even close. After what was a pretty good battle on Isotoxin, this is completely one-sided in Red's favor. Yeah, that is right, Murder. It's it's pretty well. I mean, you can pretty much already call it. Like, there's just uh, eight minutes left, sure, but that is a gigantic lead. I. It would take almost a miracle for uh, F.A. to come back from this. I just can't see it. It's just too big of a lead. 
And Sugo's been doing a better job on Garage than uh, oh, yeah. Mendez, for sure, but uh, he's just not enough. Because Arturos is being heavily won by Unreal now as well. You see Uzi dropping down from roof. Uzi's just kind of... Uzi's just going everywhere. He's just kind of... He's trying to do whatever he can for his team. I applaud him for that. He's, he's been on every point this game. As you see, he's got points on all three positions here. And he's almost trying to roam and just help out everyone. So I applaud the effort, but it's not going to be enough as... I think in a minute or two here, it's going to be up to a 100-point lead for RE by the looks of it. You're right, Banko, but... Like, they do have more Fraggers, for sure. But it's weird, because uh, the first map was Isotoxin, which favors more fragging, which RE won, but it was a hell of a lot closer than this. It was tied most of the way through, and the lead never got to more than, I think, about 20. So, to me, from what I've seen, like, they don't look comfortable here, FA, and they pick the map. Like, Mendes, I've, I've seen him several times uh, going the wrong direction to his point, so they clearly don't all know the point perfectly, so I just, again, I kind of question why they picked the map. Maybe they thought that Re would be really weak here or something, I mean, I'm not quite sure, but... My guess is they're probably regretting that map choice right now. No problem, Vegito. It's my first time casting an Idon match. Not quite the same comfort level I have casting uh, Caps of the Fight, of course, but... Well, we're getting through it anyway. Extreme back in control of the garage while you see him jumping up with the boots, trying to pick up Rooftop Far is going to take him down, but... Even with the pick onto him there, Extreme gets back to his point before Nan Stuko. Oh my. That's no good. Where was Nan Stuko? He finally gets the point back now. And all three points briefly in the control of FA. But they are down by nearly 100 points now. What do you do? They've tried just about everything they can. They've done every possible switch and... Nothing has worked. Perhaps they should have kept it their original setup a little bit longer. I think they may have panicked and switched too early. Like, yes, Mendez was losing Garage pretty hard to Extreme, but the other two points weren't doing bad. Arturos was being won by Uzi at that time, and the game itself was uh, very close. Nearly tied. And uh, they just started switching like crazy, and since then, as you can see, it's over a 100-point lead now for Reed. And Senator's been extremely impactful. Both maps. Really done a nice job on the rooftop here. Constant control and really helping out the slow points from up here as well. Pick up Uzi again, far up here. Gonna finally take him down. 304 to 200 is the lead, and we're just gonna wait for this thing to tick down because absolutely no chance of a comeback here by FA, so I think gonna take a loss. Is this both? Does anyone know? Uh, have either of these teams played a match yet? Did either of them play last week, or is this the first match for uh, both teams here? Yeah, Senator, you never really see him plug or anything, but when he shows up to matches, he's generally always performs. If you recall the last IDOM Cup, too, he was... I can't remember if his team won that season. They might have. I know they won far. I can't remember, but... Either way, he was uh, quite impactful on that one as well. See him do the multi here. And I guess we'll just continue to watch Senator for a bit. Not really much to commentate on anymore, guys. Like, this really quite a one-sided map right here. RE winning heavily. Joker. 
and they look like they're going to be a tough team to deal with. They uh, look very strong. Never really uh, initially after the draft looked at them as really, I, I saw them as a good team, but not a top team, but after this dominating performance, uh, they look like they have the ability to hang with anyone. They probably want a forfeit. <laughs> I think they'll just suffer for the remaining minute 40 here. Stream 120 points on Garage. Combined points for FA on Garage, we've got 60, 60. So, I mean, that's, holy shit, that's a 62 point advantage for Extreme on the Garage position right there on FA. So, similar to ISO, the solo points, getting it done, and, uh, the dual point too in this case. They're not here. The, she had to take Grant to Yeah. Toro is owned by Unreal as well, you're right, yeah, I didn't even see his 115 down points. Like an 116 now, and again... I mean, it was just the start of the map, mind you, but... In the first few minutes, it was initially Uzi against Unreal there, and Uzi was winning the point against Unreal. That's why I think, like, JP had a bad start in Garage, but I feel like they abandoned and switched their positions way too quick. I think they should have stuck with it a bit longer, because Uzi was winning that solo point, and the roof was relatively close. The overall team score was very close. I think Blue was only down by about five, and then they switched. They made the switch, and it was pretty well all downhill from there, and really a one-sided win on map number two here. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.